data analysis with chat gpt this is the data set that we plan to analyze with chat gpt this is an automobile data set which has information about make model year color price mileage fuel type of automobiles we are logged into chat gpt so let's do some data analysis our first prompt you are a data analyst here is your data set and after this we just paste a data set which is a bunch of rows right and we get a response as a data analyst i can help you analyze the provided data set okay let us display this data set in a tabular format right so here's a data set in a tabular format you can see the columns make model year color price mileage and fuel type right to make this uh easier to read and understand let us sort this data set, data set by make and year columns okay so sort this data set by make and year columns okay so that's our sorted data set much easier to read and understand so this is sorted on make and year columns let us create data dictionary for this data set data dictionary gives information about the data set columns like the column name a short description data type and so on so a prompt here is generate data dictionary for the data set so here's our data dictionary we have the column name a short description and data types for our data set now let us display this data dictionary in a tabular format that makes it easier to read and understand the data dictionary okay so that's a prompt and here we have the data dictionary in a tabular format we have the column name description and data type okay so now it's time to find some insights in the data set so a prompt is find some insights in the data set so here are some high level insights we have information about popular makes fuel types price range mileage range color distribution year distribution and make and model combinations now let us create summary statistics for this data set so our prompt is create summary statistics for this data set let us see what we get so we get summary statistics for the price and mileage columns these are two columns which have numeric data type so the information we get is about minimum maximum mean median and standard deviation this provides overview of the central tendency dispersion and range of values for price and mileage columns okay now next we will try to find if there is a correlation between price and year so a prompt is how does the price change with year in the data set so the response we get is average price for every year so the average price tends to increase as the year of the vehicle gets newer this suggests a positive correlation between the year and price so newer vehicles command higher prices now let us try to visualize this in the form of a graph so our prompt is generate python code to display average price by year assuming that the data set is available in a file called auto.csv we will be running the generated code in a jupyter notebook so let us complete that prompt assuming data set is available in a file called auto.csv okay let's hit enter and uh, wait for the 
code to be generated. All right, so that's our code. This will create a line plot showing the trend of average price by year. Let's copy the code. And now this is a Jupyter notebook. I'm using Google Colab for this. The data set has already been uploaded here in a file called auto.csv. So a code is pasted here and now we are ready to run it. Let's run that and wait for the graph to be generated. Okay, so that's a line graph which shows average price by year. Next, we want to train a machine learning model so that given a year, price can be predicted. So, right? So, our prompt is generate Python code to train a machine learning model to predict the price based on the year using the automobile dataset from auto.csv file. And then take year as an input to predict the price. So, let us see uh, what code chat GP GPT generates for us. All right. So, this code trains a simple linear regression model using the automobile data set right, to predict price based on year. And finally, it takes year as an input to predict the corresponding price. Okay. So, that's our code. And it uses a scikit-learn library to train linear regression model. We are in Jupyter Notebook. Let's paste our code here. Now this code will pick up data from auto.csv file and use it to train a linear regression model. Okay, so let's run the code. So after the model is trained, it prompts us to enter the year. We provide that as 2021. So the predicted price for year 2021 is 34,839. If we go back to the graph we generated earlier, so we can see that the price for 2021 would be higher than what was in 2020. So that's on expected lines. Now, since we are using Jupyter Notebook, we can process much larger amounts of data here. So if we look at the auto.csv file, it has a limited number of rows. But this data could be much higher. In chat GPT itself, we cannot process large volumes of data. So that was a quick overview of data analysis with chat GPT.